feel like it's about that time that I need to see if there are any sweet potatoes in this area here. As you can see in the center, it has died back quite a bit and there are supposed to be sweet potatoes under here, but I have a sneaky suspicion that because it's had sporadic watering that I'm not going to be happy with the result. We shall see. Because this is Texas, you got to be careful before you go sticking your hand somewhere that you cannot see exactly what's going on. So I'm using an old metal pole, moving some things around to make sure that I don't get a really nasty surprise. Before I pull this container out, I'm going to try and cut just the sweet potato vines. And these appear to be just sweet potato vines. So I'm going to cut those first before I reach in and try to pull this container out. I'm gonna try one more time to move some of these vines out of the way just to make sure I don't come up on a nasty surprise. Now that I've gotten all that out of the way, let me cut back these vines out of this container, pull it over to the side, and then let's get started. First things first, let me take baby girl and put her in the house because I won't get anything done with her. I can already tell by looking at this pot, this soil is not conducive to anything growing in it or growing in it well. This soil is hard as a rock. This was a bag of container mix that I picked up from the store. I can tell you right now, I will never use this again. I feel like I'm on an archeological dig. This is awful. I'm gonna have to try and revive this soil with everything I have, including the kitchen sink. Look at this, molten lava looks better than that. I am gonna be here a minute. I 
I feel like I'm kicking up dirt at the rock quarry. Just as I thought, this is not looking good, folks. If my soil medium was worth anything and I would have been able to give this more water than what I was able to do, these white sweet potatoes might have actually turned out to be pretty good. But as you can tell right here, they look a hot mess. What I can say is, on the brighter note, I do have at least a little something that I might be able to get some slips off of for next year. I had to speed this up. This was a painful process. I pulled out a few pitiful orange sweet potatoes. As you can see, this soil is just bad. Now these here in the center, these are my Asian sweet potatoes. They have white flesh and purple skin and purple skin and purple flesh. Here I have a bunch of ants that I just tossed out. And so now I'm just gonna take this soil, pull out as many roots as I can and try to refresh it because it is just awful. I'm gonna take this time and build the soil up. I've already placed a little bit of that Hugo culture back in the bottom. I've added more leaves. This is organic fertilizer. Just watch you guys, I'm gonna build this up. It's gonna be better for next year. I've taken much of that soil, placed in some coconut core, some verbiculite, and some perlite, and I'm gonna mix this up. I need to make this soil a lot airier and lighter. It's looking better than what it did. Let's hope this does the trick. These are some kombucha scobies that I took out of my homemade kombucha. I'm gonna use these to help build up this soil and make it better. I would normally put these in my compost bin, but this pot needs a lot of love.
I've gone to my homemade compost bin and I've taken out some compost and that's what I'm crushing up right here. You'll probably be able to see there is some food that's not completely broken down, but that's okay. This pot is going to use it. And next year, this soil is going to be outstanding. If you haven't figured it out yet, I'm doing a voiceover. And if you've heard all of that heavy breathing in the back, those are my dogs. They're playing and they refuse to leave my workspace. So that's their contribution to today's video. Now that I have it watered in, I'm not finished yet. I'm gonna add some sardines and that's gonna make this pot pop for the springtime. That's sardines and water, just in case you're wondering. Now that I have those placed and spread out where they want them, I'm gonna put some more of that refreshed soil on top. I'm not gonna stop there. I went inside the house and I grabbed some worms and some worm castings out of my vermicompost bin. We're gonna make this pot pop. That worm doesn't wanna come out this cup. Oh, it's coming out. This container is over halfway full, so now I'm going to add some organic fertilizer.
Now here's some more fun I'm about ready to add to the pot. These are broad beans. These are some really big beans. Can you guys see how big these beans are? My goodness. I soaked them overnight and so now I'm going to plant them. Only one of the beans actually sprouted, but that's okay. I'm sure the others just need a little bit more time. So I'm gonna spread them out and then I'm gonna cover them up. These beans all have a black or very dark brown strip at the top. One of the beans that actually germinated, that plant came from that top area with the strip. So I'm making sure that I'm planting these beans with that dark strip facing up. Now from what I understand, you don't have to do that, but I wanna make sure that all of them are all facing in the same direction. I'm going to use these remaining beans in another container. You'll see that in the next video. Now it's time to cover these up and make them nice and snug for the fall. It is my hope that everything I've done tonight will enrich this pot and not only will the broad beans grow and produce, but the springtime will be plentiful as well as the summer with all I've done with this container. Now I'm gonna to top it up and get it ready for bed. I hope you enjoyed this content as much as I enjoy bringing it to you. And if you have, do me a favor, hit that like button, share this video, leave a comment, I'd be more than happy to respond to you and of course subscribe. Happy gardening to you all. Good night everybody. It's the next day. This sweet potato pot has been refurbished and it has been potted up with broad beans as you can see. 
it is nicely tucked in so hopefully soon there will be some broad beans sticking up their little heads for the winter thanks for watching